survived so much. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. You ever seen the movie Super Bad, where they're playing soccer and there's that kid and he's like, hey, why don't you piss your pants again? Hey, that happened in third grade, dude. People don't forget. People don't forget. People don't forget. They don't do really stupid public things, right? That's kind of the lesson there. Don't stand with the head of the president that's been severed and bloodied right as Donald Trump takes office. That's a stupid thing. You shouldn't do that. And if you do do something like that, people won't forget. There will be consequences. Kathy Griffin, death threat cancellations and investigations. A little did Kathy Griffin know how serious the DOJ was to charging her with threatening a president. Secret Service actually questioned her multiple times over this. They should have charged her. Kathy Griffin should be uh, in jail right now, in our personal opinion, quite frankly. But at the very least, she'll be punished for taking this photo for the rest of her living days. Kathy Griffin is trying to rehabilitate whatever career she had. I don't think that Kathy Griffin was ever funny, but now she's out on a comedy tour again. But she's being hounded by MAGA <laughs> everywhere she goes, including in New York. Kathy Griffin slams MAGA protesting her show. She's so upset. She's so angry. This is Joe the Box. Good morning from the America First Warehouse, the most patriotic place on the planet. Donald Trump, our great president. Remember when he was running for president? There was this really funny comedian, Kathy Griffin. She's coming to New York, coming to Huntington. Guess what? We'll be outside. Guess what we found, too? You guys, you got to watch this guy. This is a video. <laughs> I heard there's a um, patriot protest at my show tonight, which could mean Nazis, and a Kathy Griffin comedy show. So, um... Uh, if I know my audience members, they'll probably be just posing and taking pictures with these fools. And I don't know how many of them are going to show up. But, um, you know, it's regarding a certain photo I took nearly seven years ago that they can't get over. Okay, so right, what, did, yourself. what did her audience do? Uh, her audience actually tried to attack the supporters of Donald Trump who showed up to the show. <laughs> Look at this. Trying to rip the flag off the truck. <laughs> What do you think about the protest? What? What do you think about this? I think it just uh, shows us how shitty Long Island has become. <laughs> There's not enough liberals in New York. <laughs> I just got it, lady. Look at this. This is amazing. This is what. This is what the. Uh... Look at that. Amazing. I love these patriots. It's so fun. Kathy Griffin. Uh, decided to, instead of, I don't know, do a funnier sketch or apologize or just retire, which is probably what she should do, uh, Kathy Griffin decided, look, they got the Trump limousine there, to go on The, the View to, to talk some shit and to talk about the people and how much they've triggered her uh, by protesting her show. But these Trump supporters, they're crazed over me. Yeah. So I've, there was an actual parade uh, Sunday night at my show in Huntington, right, New York. Uh, yeah. And they had all these Trumpers organize an anti Kathy Griffin parade. It was kind of funny because they did have a bobbing redhead yeah. of me yeah. in effigy. Uh -oh. And they had they were shouting and I'm a traitor yeah. and all this and the other stuff. But the audience came inside. So it was like hate on the outside and inclusive love and laughs on the inside and it was sold out. Oh. But that's, that's good. Was it actually sold out, Kathy? Hey, Kathy, we know, we know that you're a liar and we know that you're a fabulist, but like, was it sold out? Because Kathy Griffin herself, funny, Kathy versus Kathy, uh, has posted photos begging her fans to buy tickets because her show isn't sold out. Okay, I'm doing one of these videos where Ooh. I'm looking up. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I had another voice surgery two days ago, so my voice is sounding better, I think, and yet I have COVID and I'm heartbroken because I'm getting divorced. So here's what I'm here to talk to you about. It's all about the tour, man. 
just freaking get me to opening night in Des Moines. And Omaha is not selling well. Omaha, first of all, there's not enough people there. Okay, so I'm playing Omaha, Nebraska in February. So I need comedy fans to come out and see me. And Kansas City, come on, I, I need sellouts. I'm uh, okay, so here she is be begging for people to come out because she doesn't, she, she's not, <laughs> she's not selling out. Here's her tour dates, few remaining. Oh, okay, so Long Beach has a show sold out, but you can see here there are no shows sold out. Just added, just added, oh my. There are no shows sold out. In fact, if you click on the show, let's click on the most, let's let's give her the benefit of the doubt. This is from this weekend. This is So this is a show this weekend in Phoenix. This show is in 24 hours and every section has available, 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 available. Every section is available. Uh, that's interesting. I've actually done comedy on this. The, the, I have actually done comedy in this theater. So it's, it's kind of interesting. I know that I know this theater. I did a stand up set in this theater. Those are facts. Yeah. But uh, trivia facts about, uh, about any. So I so I know exactly how to fill this place up. And the, the place is empty. Or at the very least, it's not a sellout. So Kathy Griffin lied on The View. Uh, then Kathy Griffin, who is looking more and more like, uh, I don't know, an Oompa Loompa. I, yeah, like an extra in the live action, in like a live action remake of Wizard of Oz, the Lollipop Guild. That or like a, a like an Oompa Loompa in the um, Willy Wonka film. I don't, I don't know which. I don't know what kind of drip she's going for here. But it sure looks funny, right? It's very, it's very funny. Nothing's funnier than Kathy Griffin saying that she had a nervous breakdown because of Donald Trump. You would have, we could have predicted this. The view audience groans as Kathy Griffin compares herself to Britney and Kanye combined when she was on a psych hold. Uh, okay. Um, apparently Donald, when she said Donald Trump broke me, she like, uh, really mean it. We are thrilled that you're here. All right, now let me explain my voice. You guys, I had lung cancer even though I never smoked. And so they had to take out half of my left lung oh. and then alter my voice. And I don't like how you're all flaunting your two lungs in my face. <laughs> well, I'll, 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 I'll do something different now. I got a half a lung on my left side. Can you oh, believe that? Oh, well, so that you can live with a half a lung. Yes, I yeah. I'm at the face of the one and a half lunged community. <laughs> I've been through hell and back, people. Yeah, hell yeah, and back. Yes. That's right, but you are back, and that's so what's funny. Yeah. So funny. This is so uplifting. In six years. Six so years I was out of work because of that. <laughs> there, I said what it was. All about a picture. A picture yeah. I took. Yeah. Making fun of the president, which you're supposed to do as a comic. Yeah. They made you pay. Yeah. Hold on. She was investigated by the Secret Service. She had DOJ charges against her. It's not a picture. It was a, it was a death threat. You had the bloodied, severed head of a president. Like you'd be headed a, a, a president. Um, no, no. And then everyone claps. Yeah, the, yeah. the term in the title PTSD is yeah. not used lightly. No, because you have survived so much career cancellation yeah. and a federal investigation over the Trump photo controversy. Yeah, no fly list, yeah. Interpol list, stopped at every airport, the whole thing. Yeah, you wow. also, and none of these are small, a pill addiction, pill addiction, a suicide attempt, suicide attempt, lung I, cancer. I, and I was on a psych hold for three days. And I know you can't, you can tell why, but I was on <laughs> a psych hold. So it was like, I was like Britney and Kanye combined. Wow. And I was like, I walked into my own act. Wow. Psych hold for three days. Wow. But you also... But now I'm in recovery. I'm sober three and a half. <laughs> okay, Kathy Griffin says that she had a panic attack, eight-hour panic attack, and was on psych hold. Okay. All right. Isn't that funny? Are you laughing now? Are you laughing? Here's my recommendation. Uh, Patriots, keep keep doing this. This is what's really funny. This is what's really hilarious. The Trump train outside of Kathy Griffin comedy shows. And Kathy Griffin should be should be welcoming it because nobody's showing up.
So everyone wins here, Kathy. Look at this. Everyone wins. No one shows up to your shows. So at least there's people outside that are happy, right? We know you're not. Whew. Time to retire when that's the thing that's happening to you. It's your boy, Benny. We ain't going to retire anytime soon. So you should like, share, and subscribe to stay based.